Money. Money. Today I wanted to bring my expertise being that what I do as a full-time career is mortgages. I just talked to you guys over the weekend on my my weekend show here, Uh, but is mortgage insurance. I think a, a lot of people don't understand really what options that they have around this and what mortgage insurance is or other otherwise known as private mortgage insurance, PMI, in the U.S. is an insurance payable to a lender or trustee for a pool of securities that may require when, be t- when taking out a mortgage. It's an insurance to offset the losses in case a consumer is not able to repay the loan and the lender is not able to recover its cost after foreclosure and the sale of a property. So it's not an insurance for the borrower, but it's an insurance for the lender. And if it weren't for private mortgage insurance, PMI, you would not be able to get a loan unless you had 20% down. So there is something good about uh, this having available. There's nothing good about paying it, but it's good that it is available. And it's important to make sure that you're asking your mortgage representative about the options with mortgage insurance. And this is what I want to share, the tip I want to give you today. Most consumers don't understand that there's actually options available. And I would say probably 90% of you listening right now, and maybe 90% and possibly even 100%, don't know that there's different mortgage insurance carriers that have different mortgage insurance prices. Everybody just goes along with the mortgage insurance that's attached to their, their lender when they're providing those loan options. And just as a given, that's what it is. You want to make sure that you're going with a company that has access to all of the five providers that are out there. You've got your major five providers. Uh, in, so just ask them, do you, you know, do you have options to the five major providers? And are you going to be doing some comparison shopping on the mortgage insurance? Now, what I will tell you is United Guarantee is going to be your lowest price in most situations, if you're a strong credit borrower, you have a low debt to income ratio, which means, and you'll know that because when your mortgage consultant approves you for $700,000 purchase and you're purchasing a home for 500000 you know that you have a low debt to income ratio. You're actually borrowing le- much less than what the amount is. Uh, and that's a really extreme example. Uh, Also, if you have more than one borrower, if you're purchasing with a spouse or a significant other, there's a greater chance that you're not going to default because of the fact that you have two income wage earners. So if you have a a spouse or a partner, both of you are earning an income, United Guarantee chances is going to be a better option for you. The next best carrier is going to be Radian. So again, I would ask who the carriers are. Remember those two, but ask if they have access to all five of them. What you're going to see, sometimes your your major lenders, they actually have one mortgage insurance company that they use. It's going to be the highest premium because they want to make sure that nothing gets under disclosed. And so that way they're covered and all the clients, you just, you just move forward with it, not understanding that there actually is multiple carries out the carries out there. So that's why a major bank would use the highest premium uh, carrier is because for compliance purposes. So if you have any questions on that, again, please feel free to pick up the phone, give the show a call, one 855 or you can always reach me online at themoneyhour.com. Now, also, you understanding that there's different options. Most people think that mortgage insurance is just monthly. Pay a monthly mortgage insurance. There's actually other options that are available. I think a really good option is your buyout. It's when you pay a one-time fee to completely buy out the mortgage insurance. And depending on what you're doing for down payment, your qualifying factors, uh, if you're doing a low down payment, it's probably one and three quarters percent is a good estimate. So if you compare that to the monthly, it's going to be anywhere from two and a half to three years to recover that one cost that you paid, that one-time cost that you paid up front to avoid monthly mortgage insurance. Now, yes, at some point in time, you're going to be able to release the monthly mortgage insurance on a conventional loan, but it's minimum two years, regardless of the appreciation, regardless of how much you put towards principal, it's a minimum two years before you can go through the early removal process of mortgage insurance. After that two years, depending on the appreciation in your home, once you have a 20% equity position, then you can go through the process of removal. Not easy. It's a lot of paperwork and you've got to pay for an appraisal, but um, it all lenders have to abide by the guidelines of removing mortgage insurance. So if you truly have the equity position in your home, you will release it. So is it worth it if it's two and a half years to recover, if you're not sure what the appreciation is going to do, if you're not making any major principal reductions and knowing that it's based on the original appraised value 
where it automatically drops off, which obviously depends on rate, but maybe seven, nine years or so. Uh, Is it worth it or do you just want to buy it out? So that's a really popular option with my clients. The other option is a split. Split just being a split between monthly and buyout. So you have a smaller monthly and a smaller buyout. I just think you pick one of them, pick monthly or pick buyout and and go with it. But um, a split is an option that you have to look at as well. The last option is a lender pay. I think the lender pay option is not a a good option to go with unless you're very, very short term on this loan. The reason why is because you're going to take typically about a half a percent higher. There is no no mortgage insurance, but the lender is going to pay for it for you. But how they pay for it is they increase the interest rate. So would you rather pay, would you want to pay a half a percent interest rate over a long period on your loan to avoid paying the mortgage insurance? Definitely not. You'd want to do the buyout or the monthly option before the lender pay. But what most is, what's most important is that you look at the options, see everything lined out and see what makes most sense for you. And let's go ahead and we got to take it to commercial break. So coming up next on the money hour, what does it really take to become financially smart? What should you be doing with your money? Well, I've got Mark Pellegrino with Rainier Group right here on 1150 AM KKNW after the short break.